Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist here. We are going to talk about what looks to be our first significant atmospheric river for this winter and the moderate to potentially high impacts that are likely to occur from the heavy rain next week between March 9th and 11th. We're targeting the period March 10th and 11th as the main impact area as shown on our impact table here. That's when urban areas will be most impacted in the deserts, valley and coast, and certainly in the mountains. There's also potential for flooding, and that would be in the form of urban flooding or even localized flash flooding. And then eventually, potentially some local river flooding. There is a threat for thunderstorms, especially on Wednesday. And uh, keep in mind, there will be some snow with lower snow levels on Wednesday to impact travel. And then, of course, dense fog, which often impacts our mountains as the clouds cut through. This will be a really warm storm initially, and then cooling off on Wednesday with the main low pressure area. So far this year, it's been dry. On the left-hand side, start of 2020, very dry. In fact, record-breaking dry in parts of Central California and in Southern California, top third driest when you combine January and February. That has eroded our very wet start to the water year. The water year starts October 1st. On the right-hand side, you can see Central Northern California very much below average. Most of those areas uh, are only about 50% or less of average precipitation they should be at to this date. Now in SoCal, we're doing better even though Orange County, Riverside County have been drier. Uh, San Diego County is just a little bit below average for the water year. We'll make up for that. Uh, a little bit of light rain expected for the weekend. So no, the storm's not coming in faster, uh, but there is a weak disturbance moving through and we have a deepening marine layer, the fog that's over the California Bight deepening up. That'll squeeze out, especially on coastal areas for enough to make, call it wetting rain and, and wet the roadways. The total precipitation with the main storm on Tuesday and Wednesday looks like this. You can see on the left-hand side, this is primarily a Southern California event. And you can see on the right-hand side, this is not just the mountain areas. This is potential for significant rainfall on Tuesday into Wednesday for all areas, including the desert areas as shown here, and really wet for the mountain areas where we could see as much as three to five inches in the normal wet corridors of the mountains, such as the San Bernardino and San Gabriel Mountains. Now for coastal cities, uh, still a lot of that rain occurring on Tuesday and some of it occurring on Wednesday, most areas should see between an inch to two inches. Here is a zoomed up version for Southern California. Take a look at the scale on the left-hand side. And then you can see most areas, again, ranging from one to two inches, even over the high desert areas. And it's important to note that because this is a very warm storm on Tuesday, there'll be substantial runoff, more runoff than what we saw with the Thanksgiving and Christmas storms because those were cold storms. So this is a much milder storm. So it could have more impacts in terms of uh, rock slides in our mountain roads, also for some local washouts and for urban flooding, and then eventually the water that flows down into our larger rivers like the Santa Ana River. Snowfall, well initially on Tuesday with the main atmospheric river, snow levels will get really high up around 8,000 feet, if not briefly a little higher. They will come down Tuesday night and on Wednesday down closer to six to 7,000 feet. But um, primarily the snow looks significant for our mountain areas uh, above 7,500 feet and up around 8,000 feet, you can see those dark red shaded areas could see as much as two feet of snow. So primarily on Tuesday, it's a rain event and then we transition Tuesday night into Wednesday to dropping those snow levels. The winds will be an impact, especially on Tuesday. We should see a lot of south winds picking up with gusts 20 to 35 miles per hour, even along the coast. And then the shaded areas here in yellow, winds going over 45 miles per hour in those area. Remember, this is a storm system coming in from the west, so a lot of south winds going to be pumping up ahead of it, primarily strongest winds on Tuesday. What is the storm track? Well, over the weekend, we're going to see a large storm system 
it's starting to happen now break off from the main jet stream and sit in the eastern pacific that allows the moisture to drop from the south and that sets the stage for the atmospheric river now because this system is not completely detached from the storm track or the westerlies there's a lot of flow in that red line and that means there's a lot of transport and that transport combined with the deep tropical moisture sets the stage for forming that atmospheric river now take a look on Tuesday in earnest when it comes in Monday night and early Tuesday we see a deep shaded orange there and you can see that is targeted to go right up through the California Bight uh, into parts of Orange County and then especially into San Diego and Riverside County coming up from the southwest as that low pressure area starts to nudge east and a little bit southeast on Tuesday. That low pressure area will drift right over San Diego, it looks like, on Wednesday. So that's when the snow levels come down. That low pressure area will bring uh, cooler temperatures, bring a cold front Tuesday night. See what it does to the atmospheric river? It pushes it well to the east into the Baja and Mexico into Arizona. So we won't be dealing with atmospheric river conditions on Wednesday. We're dealing more with the cold, unstable air of that low pressure area with lingering showers coming off the California Bight and lingering precipitation, of course, uh, over our mountain ranges as well. Here are the details. Take some time to look at this. Uh, the bottom line is the yellow shaded is the atmospheric river. And that is when our coast valley and deserts could experience and likely will experience heavy rain. Rainfall rates could be enough for localized urban flooding and even isolated flash flooding. So rainfall rates exceeding a half an inch are significant along our coastal slopes with that atmospheric river on Tuesday. Remember that this is not a good snow producer because it's warm. High snow levels get rising up to around 8,000 feet on Tuesday, then coming back down Tuesday night to around 7,000 feet. So we will see significant snowfall up around 8,000 feet even on Tuesday. So right at the top of the ski resort levels, slushy, uh, heavy, wet snow. Primarily the best chance on Tuesday looks like the Mount Baldy area. Now for March 11th, colder air comes in and is more widespread and evenly distributed. We no longer have a cold front. We just have a large area of cooler air, not cold, but cooler air. So snow levels lower. Um, right around town level between six and seven thousand feet on Wednesday. So additional snowfall certainly and more likely to affect the communities and mountain highways on Wednesday. Now I do want to emphasize even though we're not in atmospheric condition on Wednesday, we are in unstable air and the main low pressure area drifts right over the California Bight. So we can still see isolated heavy rain and even a thunderstorm on Wednesday. So it's not over with on Wednesday into Wednesday night, um, but we're out of the atmospheric river conditions, so that's the main difference. There's another storm, well maybe. Um, computer models really for the past three weeks have been showing storm systems becoming active in March, and we do have some confidence that another storm will come through mid-March between the 16th and 17th. Uh, the issue with this one, it doesn't look like it breaks off and, and collects as much tropical moisture so it would be more of a classic storm coming in from the west, uh, northwest. Here are the details. Moderate to high confidence based on the computer model solutions. Uh, they're all showing the same thing. A uh, healthy atmospheric river coming in uh, Monday night and Tuesday with high snow levels. There's a little bit of differences on Wednesday and Wednesday night as the main low pressure system that's pumping this moisture up from the south whether it's going to drift over San Diego or go even further south over the northern Baja area. So that lingers the best chance uh, for showers all the way through Thursday morning in San Diego County. The storm is over this weekend sitting and gathering the moisture, okay? So we still will see some light showers this weekend, but it really isn't part of the main storm system. That atmospheric river, that main storm system comes in Monday night into Tuesday. That's when the snow levels get really high. Um, up around 8,000 feet on Tuesday. Uh, we do see a cold front Tuesday evening sweep through from west to east. So I think the best chance for heavy snow initially is up around the Mount Baldy area because that's where the colder air is coming in from west to east. Then on Wednesday, the cold air kind of um, covers the entire region, even though it's not cold, but that allow the snow levels to get back down to more reasonable values of 6,000 uh, feet to 7,000 feet in the Riverside Mountain areas. 
So the rain rates will be significant Tuesday and Wednesday. I think the main difference on Tuesday is it could be anywhere. Uh, so I want to emphasize that total rainfall of one to three inches um, and certainly one to two inches could be anywhere, desert, valley, and coast, with double that for our favored westerly mountain slopes because that south wind is going to be cranking on Tuesday, driving those precipitation rates in that very warm tropical air. Snowfall, again, confined to above and at 8,000 feet, so the top of the ski resort levels. Uh, I think some of the biggest snowfall amounts up around two feet or more will be up around the Mount Baldy area, so we got to watch that closely. Eventually seeing some snow accumulation down around the Big Bear and uh, Pine Cove area. Make sure you tune in um, as we get closer to this event for any watches that may be posted. And then when we get in the event, um, certainly by uh, late Monday, any warnings uh, and or advisories that are issued. Those will be posted immediately at weather.gov San Diego. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well as we'll share uh, updates with the weather forecast and also updates with the impacts of what's actually happening and of course the total rainfall and total snowfall amounts as we go through this event. Have a safe weekend um, and be prepared for um, this significant storm for Tuesday and Wednesday despite the very dry conditions we've seen uh, so far in 2020.